Okay, today we are going to make a museum display that you can do at your own house using kinetic sand, tissue paper, or you could use construction paper. And believe it or not, our trees are going to be aquarium plants. Little plants that you get for fish aquariums. And I'm going to first just take these fish aquarium plants and I'm going to put them into the kinetic sand. And the kinetic sand holds them in place. I just push them down and that holds our trees in place. And what's neat is some of these aquarium plants really do look like the broad-leafed evergreen trees that they would have had at the time of the dinosaurs in the Mesozoic period. So I have a forest here and now we just need a dinosaur. And I have an iguanodon right here. And the iguanodon has gone down to the shore edge to get some water. And what's neat about this tissue paper is if you fold it, it does make these ripples that kind of look like waves. Now you can be the paleontologist or the museum curator. And you can tell your friends and family all about this display that you've made. We can have it so that Tyrannosaurus rex is sneaking up behind Iguanodon. And again, what's neat about the kinetic sand is I can push him right into the sand so that he stays put. Now, uh, you can use your imagination and you can explain to people what's going to happen in this scene. Does Tyrannosaurus Rex get the Iguanodon, or does Iguanodon escape? So you can change the scene then. You can pull out the dinosaurs. And I'm going to put in a Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus is kind of like a Triceratops, except he has a brill with all these horns on it. He has even more horns than a Triceratops. And he's come here to f feed on this leaf on the leaves here on this tree. And we can tell people about this exhibit that we've made. And you can do this in your home. You, today, with just a few materials, can become a museum maker. Here's Iguanodon enjoying the different plants. And we're going to have another dinosaur. We're going to have a big Diplodocus that's come along the shore edge to find some plants and trees to feed on. So you can make a dramatic scene with pre a predator like Tyrannosaurus rex coming into the, the picture from the back. Or you could make something very quiet and peaceful with just the plant eaters.